Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how a standard power folding mirror is working. For this purpose, here I have a disassembled power folding mechanism. You can see the electric motor, the worm gear, metal casing, we have this roller bearing which goes in this position we have a metallic spacer above it also we have this tiny little brass balls with holes in it They go like this and they're performing some sort of bearing function. They transferred the movement from the motor worm gear to this worm wheel and again to this worm gear which transfers the motion to the bigger worm wheel. In the power folding mechanism, yeah, it's important to note that the motor can transfer the motion to the worm wheel but the worm wheel itself cannot transfer the motion to the electric motor and this is because the design of the worm drive you can see it cannot move it simply jams so it's uh, really important in the power folding mirrors to be implemented some sort of safety mechanism which uh, protects the mirror in case someone hits it in a forward position and uh, this safety mechanism is implemented with those six bulges over here one two three four five six and the six grooves on the worm wheel in a normal situation the bulges go into the grooves and the worm wheel itself is stationary the motion let me remove those parts i don't need now the motion is done by rotating the metal casing here the mirror is unfolded and here it's folded we have two metallic stoppers which are used to restrict the electric motor movement when <clears throat> the metal casing hits the stopper the current that uh, goes inside the motor um, exceeds the predefined thresholds and the motor is turned off again when you press the power folding mirror button and the motor starts folding the mirror assembly again it hits 
another stopper this time it hits this stopper here again the current flowing inside it exceeds the thresholds and the electronics turn off the electric motor now when somebody a car or a person let's say crashes in your mirror and uh, moves it into forward position the spring that pushes down the metal casing simply contracts and the entire metal casing with the worm wheel inside it goes above the metal stopper and your mirror is safe from breaking I really hope you understood what I'm saying it's a not an easy matter but it's really nice how it's done so bye for now